team of Santas are going to be in Windsor today. The annual event is to raise money for the Alexander Divine Children's Hospice Service. Windsor Carriages will be out collecting from midday and Rebecca from there joins me now. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Kirsten. How are you doing? I'm very good. Tell me more about what's happening today. Yeah, so we're just bringing lots of cheer, lots of joy to the streets of Windsor. So we've got a team of Santas um, supporting the hospice service, rattling their buckets um, to collect money, but also collect gifts as well from all the local businesses that will then go on to uh, the children at the hospice for Christmas. I see. So if local businesses have noticed then to, um, to rustle some stuff up? Yes, yes. We particularly had our eye on Daniel's department store with their iconic toy shop. So they will also be um, giving some gifts as well. So that's a big win. Um, But yeah, as many local businesses as we could, we've managed to get involved. I love a little trip to Daniel's. That's always part of our Christmas (laughs) run-up, actually. It's like one of the traditional stores that's left, isn't it? You know, a proper department store. Um, Yeah, yeah, family run, everything. Yeah, so how how does it work then? Uh, How can people see the Santas? Uh, so we'll be moving from the Long Walk in Windsor Great Park at midday through the town, through the main part of the town, past the Castle Hotel, um, down into the Royal Windsor Station, where a team from Daniels will come up and give us some gifts. And then we'll go on to the Theatre Royal Windsor, ending on the Eaton Bridge um, outside Stems Flowers and the Christopher Wren Hotel. It's quite so funny. a lovely procession. <laughs> I was just talking about toys for Christmas and now people are going to see Santa. Do you think they'll be panicked? Everyone will be like, what? Hang on. Yes. <laughs> it is a bit early, but the reason it's early um, is because we're actually, also, in addition to fundraising, we're promoting the iconic Santa Dash that the Alexander Divine um, charity have run for, I think it's 11 years. And if you haven't seen the photos, it's the, the photo of, I mean, 500 Santas, I think, um, running down the long walk at Windsor Castle. So it's open to anyone to enter. Um, and it, I think it's it make a great family photo. You're all in Santa outfits that's included in the ticket price. And I think that's a great, easy, fo- lovely day out, photo for granny, job done. <laughs> well, my uh, eldest and my husband are thinking of doing that, actually. So, um, yeah, they're hoping to be involved with that. Tell me why it's so important to support the hospice. Well, it's it's a it's a critical um, it's a critical organisation that we need in the borough, um, and they do a fantastic job. Um, yeah, anything we can do to raise the profile, raise the money, um, it's just important, isn't it? Kindness and joy—that's what we need to spread. Lovely stuff. Well, uh, enjoy <laughs> it today. Thank you very much for coming on and telling me about that. So, if you're out and about in Windsor from twelve o'clock, don't panic. Uh, you've still got plenty of time till Christmas. They're just doing a nice thing there for uh, Alexander Divine at Children's Hospice, and um, yeah, that Santa Dash is happening on the twenty sixth of November. If you want to be involved in that five k in Windsor, everybody yeah. dressed as Santa sounds like an absolute blast. So, um, yeah, if you want. Yeah. Get involved in that, uh, pop that in your diary as well. It's 7.56 now. Kirsten O'Brien with you on BBC Radio Berkshire. And-